Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary. Hey, it's nice to see you all again. I don't really see you, but I know you're there watching. Okay. <laughs> and thank you if you are a new subscriber to my channel or if you've been following for some time. I really appreciate you being here. Okay, so today it's just kind of like... um. Not doing anything really super great, but I am going to be using these. These are just part of a page that was part of this particular, oops, there I go again, trying to pick that up. Part of this paper pad right here, it's called Vintage Memories. And it just has loads and loads and loads of, um, let's see, I think, I wish I had a better thing here. I have one light over here, so you'll just have to bear with me. Anyway, if I'm flipping this around too fast, I do apologize. Anyway, that... That has some really nice tags in it. That would make some really nice tuck cards and things like that in your uh, journals. And just different things throughout there. But anyway, I got this at a flea market. And I always get... I try to find a lot of my... Not everything, mind you, but I do try to find uh, quite a few things at flea markets. But now, I'm going to show you something. This is not from a flea market. <laughs> I actually ordered this on Etsy. And I would just like to give a big shout out to um, the lady who owns My Scrap Cabin Shop. She does an excellent job of um, hand crinkling these seam bindings. And... Um, Anyway, this one was called the Vintage Pack. And this has rose petal in it and dusty pink and something called Victorian. And what was the other one called? I already put it over here. And Vintage. Okay. And then she popped a um, an extra one in my package if I can get it out. These come very nicely. They come like this. <laughs> but once I get into it, there's no telling what it's going to look like. <laughs> but the extra one she happened to pop in here was coral. And um, it's beautiful. I just love the coral colors. Anyway, um, I picked the vintage pack because, number one, I wanted to try out her... Um, her products and, um, and number two because that seems to be the kind of the color uh, scheme that I work with. So anyway what I'm doing is I'm cutting out these um, postcards well not postcards but they are airmails well what used to be airmails uh, envelopes why do I want to call them airmail stamps? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's easier to say. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just cutting these out to look like tags. And I don't have like a corner tag cutter. Uh, I don't know if I really should invest in one of those or not. But anyway, does that look like the same person? Yes, it does. Oh, well. That's neat, and I would imagine it's probably from some real vintage letters, you know, wait a minute, that looks kind of off to me. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with me cutting out each and every one of these, but anyway. I'm not sure what kind of a bird that is, but um, he is definitely... I kind of wonder. That doesn't really sound like a bird to me. It almost sounds like a chipmunk. That could be a bird. I don't know. 
anyway. He's just chattering away out there. Whatever it is. <laughs> I have my um, my window open. It's call, I call it a critter. A, let me start over again. A critter window. Because it's one of those that has kind of like the awning style of window that just pops open. And so... Um, we call it our critter, critter, critter window. I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> kind of hard for me to say. Because sometimes when I'm sitting at my desk, uh, we'll have a visiting squirrel. He'll climb up on our house and poke his little head into the window and kind of look around. And then he'll... Um, and then he'll leave once he figures out he can't get in, you know. And we've had birds, various birds, to hop up inside of our the window uh, awning and uh, look in. So it was very interesting. <laughs> okay, so um, let me think for a minute. I need my, I need a hole punch. So I need to go over here briefly, and I mm, let me think where my hole punch would be. Uh, let's see. I hope that you are all doing fine. I'm doing well. Okay. So, oh, okay. That's a little bit bigger hole than I thought. Well, who knew? I'm just going to eyeball this. Oh, no, that's... Oh, it's over there too much. Ooh. I hate when I do that. I don't think it'll really matter. That's a little bit, a little bit better, not by much. But I just wanted to make a video to be a little bit more updated in my videos, since I haven't done one in a while. Oh, sometimes I'm just not all that inspired to make a video. I mean, I have things I want to do, but then, you know, I don't know. I get a case of the lazies. I think that's what it is, really. And I think, oh, good, I'm, I have some time off, you know, and I think, well, I'll just go ahead and uh, do a video. Well, do you think I would do that? No. So I'm just being, I'm just being truthful with y'all. We've been having beautiful weather after several days of, we weren't too sure if winter was back or not. That's how spring is though, you know, it's just kind of wonky for a while. Now I wouldn't necessarily use these in a traveling journal. I don't really, I haven't done enough journals to really have themed journals or anything like that. I think you could just use it however you want to use it. You know, just, just saying. Now, there's one journal that I would really like to make, and I'm, I'm wanting to make one, so... 
I just don't know where to start. I guess you just have to kind of start where you can start, you know, but um, I want to make a, what I would call a memory journal. And I want to make it for my um, kind of in remembrance of my sister-in-law. And um, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, and I have a few pictures. Um, did I already ink that one in? Yes, I did. Did I already do that one? I don't remember if I did or not. But anyway, um, I may have. Well, if not, I'm doing it again. Um, I have a few little pictures. She never liked to have her picture taken, you know. And anytime she saw me have a camera or anything like that, she always would hide behind something, whether it was a plate of food or a drink, you know, or, um, you know, like a glass. Maybe she was drinking Coke or whatever. And um, maybe at a family get-together, she was always hiding her face. So I have... Um, I do have some pictures that were kind of candid that I want to put in this memory journal. But I'm just not too sure how to start it or how I want to start it or anything like that. Now, am I making tags for that particular thing? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, these could be tags for anything, really, any, any particular purpose. I'm not really making them for any one thing, really. So now that I have these all, you know, to my liking here, now I'm just, will be the process of trying to figure out, I think, this or particular, maybe even, If you are interested in possibly um, buying something from her shop, I will leave a link. Um, I'm going to go with this. This is I know this is called Victorian, but I kind of like it. What am I saying? I kind of like it. I like it. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'll leave a link to her shop then. So, I don't know what I want to do first. Oh, let's see. Will that go through there? Yes, it will. So, I don't need, like, an incredibly huge um, you know, I'm not going to make a real fancy bow or anything like that. I'm just going to cut that right there. I've been wanting to do a project where it highlights this woman's um, seam binding, you know. I think it's just so pretty. And the the uh, little wrinkles and everything add uh, shimmering highlights to it, too, you know. So it just looks really nice. I really, really like it. So I'm just not going to really do much more than that. I'm just going to tie a very loose very loose in there seeing that cute it just adds something to it to what you're working on so I'll do a couple of these with this particular color where's the end to that oh good gracious let's see if we can maybe I'll pull it through this one here It's supposed to get up to 80 today. Wow. Am I ready for that? Well, I think I am. Mm. 
let's see. I think I just about have all my flowers planted that I want, you know, to plant. And then um, the vegetables we're planting this year is um, we're doing some container gardening. So, and then we're doing some in-ground planting with our vegetables. So we're doing tomatoes, which the brand is called Big Boys. I've never had the Big Boy tomatoes before, so I'm not sure how big the fruit is on the Big Boys. Usually I would buy the Better Boy, and that was due to when we used to grow tomatoes um, for my mom so she could also have tomatoes. She'd always say, Stay away from this tomato. Stay away from that tomato. Don't buy this. Now, I don't like those tomatoes. You know, she basically directed what we put in our garden. <laughs> and then she always said that she wanted some zucchinis. So we always planted zucchinis, too. Now, I don't, I don't personally eat zucchinis. Um, I think my husband likes zucchinis. And I've had fried zucchinis. Those are good. You know, if they're breaded and fried, those are good. I've only had those at a restaurant, though. That's been eons ago. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? But yeah, she used to direct what we uh, planted in our garden. And no, she never lived with us or anything. She just would always request certain um, vegetables uh, that we would grow, you know. But anyway, since my mom is no longer with us, um, of course she's in heaven, and, um, but <laughs> my mother would not approve of my, the tomato selection. So I'm sorry, mom, but we did not buy, and, um, and for the longest time I, that's what I bought was the, um, what did I say? Better boy, I think. Now I can't remember what I said, but this time around we went with big boy. And I actually let the lady out in the garden department pick the kind of tomatoes. She was, well, do you want really the great big gargantuan tomatoes? I said, no, they don't have to be gargantuan. She was, well, do you want really small ones? Do you like cherry tomatoes? I said, no, we won't eat the cherry tomatoes. And then so she said, well, okay, I guess you want the big boys then. I said, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> so I bought a six-pack. Normally I don't buy six tomatoes, six tomato plants. Usually I just try to find one, but, you know, sometimes that's kind of hard to do. And then we are just doing container gardening for our tomatoes. And you know what we're using? We are using a... Um, a tote, just a, a normal sort of tote. I guess you got to make sure that they are not recycled. You don't want the totes to have like a really horrible smell, because that you don't want that leaching into your your vegetable. You know, you want something that. Um, well, actually, I'll tell you the brand that we bought. We bought Steerlite. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, then you may correct me. But anyway, um, that's what we chose to use as far as um, for container gardening. Uh, so, yes, we used them last year. And we planted our green beans in them. And we also had tomatoes. I don't remember if we had a lot of tomatoes or not. You know, it just, I don't know. Last year, to me, was a kind, of, kind of a blur, you know. I'll tell you why. Because um, back then we were mourning the loss of my sister-in-law. So I, um, I just don't remember. I don't recall all what how many tomatoes we had gotten or anything. 
but I used to, um, I know a, a previous time, a previous year, we actually grew a lot of tomatoes and I would take them over to their house so they could eat them, you know, and, um, and I remember one year we just had, we were loaded with beans. We just kept having more and more beans. And I asked them, I said, do you guys want some green beans? And they said, oh yeah, bring them over. And so we did, and they made a big mess of beans. And and I was glad that somebody could use our beans. Now, yeah, I could have frozen them. I don't can normally. I, um, I usually freeze my beans. Yeah. Hey, hey, get off of there. So anyway, those are my tags tied with these. Really pretty, cute. And I just love the way she crinkled these, you know, and they I think they add to the project actually. But now we need to add something to kind of um I could keep these as like a journaling card, I guess, or um but I think I'm going to go ahead and put something on them just to kind of add, you know, just add a little something. Just add a little something. So anyway, I have these stickers. So I, I digress. We're planting the big boy tomatoes. And we're going with bush bean. And what else? Oh. And I was going to put um, lettuce, grow lettuce, in our totes. But I decided that it might be a little bit too close for the bunnies to get a hold of that. So what I did was I went out and bought cocoa nest hanging pots. Excuse me. And I'm going to... Oh, dear. I was looking for my tool here. Um... Yeah, I thought, well, I went out and got some cocoa nests, and what I did was I planted my lettuce in uh, that. And um, let's see which one I went. Oh, dear. Poor lady, I cut her in, too. <laughs> I just needed certain things. Let's see. Doesn't she look incredibly bored? <laughs> I don't know, I might have to go with her. Some of these are just so pretty. One with a cat. These are actually, um, these are translucent, as you can see. So, um, these are from another Etsy shop. Um, I can't think of her shop right now, and that awful. That's where I bought them from, anyway. Mm. Oh, my goodness. She's kissing herself in the mirror. <laughs> oh, dear, my goodness. So, I, I'm just curious to see how, how well the uh, lettuce will do. I will definitely let you know how... Um, The lettuce does. Well, let's go with that, shall we? Let's go with this one and this one. Oh. Well, duh. These particular ones are from um, Journey of Crafting. So there you go. I like her shop, too, so if you want to go see what she's got in her shop, then I totally recommend going to her shop as well, and as well as, well as um, my scrap um, cabin, too. My scrap, my scrap cabin shop is what it's called. I'll get it right in a minute, people. But anyway, so... This is going to be really fun trying to get this apart. You know, instead of me doing this, I'm going to let you go and I will be right back. 
So I did want to show you that I got that one on here. I think if you put these on more of a light background, you can see the image better. But I noticed when you use these, these particular vellum things, since they are so translucent, you don't want to put them on a real busy background. Just putting that out there for y'all. So hang on. They don't make these real easy to get. This is just one sheet of of that sticky stuff, and then it's really, really hard to get off of there. I can tell you that right now. It's, it presents a challenge. So hang on just a second. Once I'm able to get under there with this particular tool, then it's mighty easy just to pull that right off of there. But then you want to be careful because it likes to stick to itself. So now I'm going to put this one um, maybe on this one. Yeah, maybe this one here. I'll put this one on this side here. Wait a minute. Oops. Ah. See, once you do these, then they don't really resemble. They kind of resemble, but they're not really resembling the airmail thing. You know, I mean, these do look like stamps, but it's taking that whole thing away, in my mind anyway, of it being uh, associated with a... I keep wanting to say postcard. I was going to say airmail stamp, airmail letter. So anyway, um, I wanted to go ahead and do another one here. And let me see um, what I have here. I don't know, I might just do another one of these. Uh, no, 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 I don't want that one either. Um, trying to think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. I'm going to look in my ephemera thing here. And or, let me see here. Yeah, I had made some things the other day on a where did it go I think this is one here excuse my arm here that one doesn't have much on it there so I think I think I want that on there meh yeah, that'll work. Ooh. So I'm just going to... Let's see here. My goodness. I'll get in that here in a minute. Too many things on my desk. I just... You know how it is. You just get stuff on your desk. Anyway, to make these, I just used um, double-sided tape. Oh, no. Am I going to run into the same thing? Oh, nuts and heimers. That's very, very sticky. I just wanted to let you all know that that is so sticky. There's no rhyme or reason as how you can just um, put things on here, you know. Oh, and these, if I can see these in the corner there. These are uh, top value stamps. These were stuck in a book that I just recently got at a uh, 
flea market. <laughs> Excuse me. So now I just want a little something just to, yeah, I think that'll work. I'm just keeping these very plain Janie here. Or do I want that down here? Maybe on this one. Yeah. So I hope that you all are doing well. The next holiday that's coming up here, at least on my side of the world, is uh, Memorial Day and Memorial Weekend. So, yep. We don't usually do anything real special on that particular holiday or anything like that. Um, I need to get into, ooh. I wonder how this will work. I haven't used these in a while. Ooh, I don't know if I can get it open. Are these all dried up? No, okay. Well, anyway, so, um, when, you know, most of my relatives and everybody were still around when I was still young, younger when I was a child, I should say, um, we used to get together for picnics and whatnot on that particular holiday. You just go to a nearby park around here that would hold, you know, several people. You know, and what I mean by that is um, where they were, there was enough room for their, you know, you wouldn't be so close to someone else, you know, or somebody else having get togethers, you know, cause there's like smaller parks, you know, and things like that. And, um, yeah. So anyway, um, this was big enough to have, um, you know, rock walking trails, not rocking tra trails, but walking trails is what I want to say. You could just kind of wander about, you know, if you wanted to after having a really nice picnic meal, you know. So let's see here. What else do I want to add? Like I said, I'm just keeping this very... I don't know if I really like that or not. I kind of feel like she needs a little something, but I'm not really sure what she needs. So hang on a minute. I almost pressed the wrong button, y'all. But anyway, I wanted to show you too that this was just printed out on just regular copy paper. Not coffee. That sounded like I said coffee paper. No, copy paper and these are DIY vintage stickers obviously the, these aren't stickers but you could put them on stickers like sticker paper whatever whatever you want to say but anyway these are DIY vintage stickers by Dreams Factory for the Graphics Fairy and this was printed off for free I'm just letting you know that where I got it from so you don't go aha that looks really familiar she didn't say where it's from well, I am now, <laughs> if you were wondering. So I'm actually looking for a butterfly because I feel like she is a little bit on the dull side here. It has a nice picture of a little girl. I like the picture, but um, she just needs some, she needs some color in her life. Let's see. I wonder if those were, they look like they were real photographs taken maybe eons ago and, um, and turned into that. That's really neat though. 
or it could be just a drawing or like a lithograph or something, I guess. I don't really know. I couldn't really tell you, to tell you the truth. So I'm just sort of, I'm off camera. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm just kind of doing some fussy cutting here. I'm not being real. Not really super particular, but I don't really want a whole lot of the white paper to show through. And so... So anyway, I hope you got to hear some of the outside birds. But you know, um, if my mother were still around, I wouldn't mind at all saying, okay, well, so what kind of tomatoes would you like, Mom? You know, I always used to, huh? Even though we didn't mind, you know, like growing some things for her, sometimes I actually was, should I say, you know how you are, you just kind of like, oh, mom, can we just buy what we want to buy, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, <laughs> and I should have been a little bit more, a little bit more caring than that, I guess. You always think about it after the person is not, not around anymore, you know. But we, she got a lot of produce from us. And the reason why we're doing it now, just because it's fun to do, and also because, I mean, groceries are, good gosh, so darned expensive. Let's see, I'm just going to put it up here. Now, wouldn't you know, I get that wing just off a little bit. Ah, I hear a woodpecker. But anyway, um, I just wanted to do a video to kind of get back on the wagon again, doing the video wagon here. And I just wanted to... Um, She looks very drab and plain, doesn't she? Maybe that's the look she's giving me, right? <laughs> well, I think I'm going to be doing these all in Victorian style. I really do. So, but anyway, um, I don't know what I was going to go with that one thought. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'm, I apologize. Um, it's morning. <laughs> and it's a Monday. So you'll have to forgive me. But anyway, um, I do thank you for joining me today. And I know it's just uh, it's just not one of those really super long videos uh, for me. But um, it's, it's enough to kind of get us back up and going again. And um, up on the, the um, hopefully to get back into the swing of things again. Anyway, I will leave links to um, my scrap cabin shop, and she's located up in Minnesota, and, um, and Journey of Crafting as well. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me this time around, and as always, I hope that you have a very blessed day, and um, God bless you. Bye-bye.